Welcome back. And let's go to that class, at least one of them. So we get something Rebellion. done. I just can't find those butterflies. No. Do I really need to be super close to them? Oh, there's something. Serpentine Beast Window. Although Slytherins like to think this window is somehow a tribute to their house founder, it is actually a serpentine beast coiled around a tree that extends from the mouth of the legendary green man. That is that one I was looking at from outside? I think so. Hmm. Rebellion. Do, 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 do. Are these three taking attendance? Oh, is, is this the line? I will start the quest if I go inside. Yeah, I guess. Begin. Whoa! <laughs> Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! <laughs> His a attitude. opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. All right, let's time. It's it's time to learn a new spell. A and guide the symbol along. Da da da. A. 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 I can do this. Is it a gold spell? Levioso. You got it, kid. You are a wizard, really. Now. Let's try something a little larger. Oh, that doll. <laughs> Let us begin with a basic cast. Okay. See how the dummy deflected your cast? Yeah. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, Levioso first. Well Nice. Done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Let me ask this cannot be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. You're good. How perceptive. Thank you. Let me ask you. Please all my students for this adept. Oh, he's off. <laughs> Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> Is he gonna be a problem? <laughs> or am I? 
Maybe. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Grindelow. Understood, Professor. Grindelow. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. Thank I you. shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. That was easy. No, okay. Sure, the combinations of spells are a little different. You have to use, in my case, right trigger B and then right trigger several times. Uh huh. And then remember, and then just release everything and use Y for Protego. Level three, like no, Revelio. no, it's, it's. Didn't I see something up here? Hello. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. No. Now I have shown you the true power of the dark. No. Of course not. Oh. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Oh, sorry, I missed his convo. Damn it. Hey, Sam. Um, nice work. Sebastian, sorry. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Mm -hmm. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive unsanctioned dueling organization yeah exclusive sure. and unsanctioned count me in <laughs> excellent knew i was right about you if you want to get the most out of your time at hogwarts you're going to need to break the rules now and then i know, I know. whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library you just have to be clever enough not to get caught thank you sebastian I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Thank you, Sebastian. Quiz complete. Experience? 260. Hey. Am I bumping it up? Am I number four now? First class student. I'd hate to face Professor Hackett in a duel. Yeah, I know. Revelio. It looks like a parchment up here. No. Yeah, it does. I have to face the room and then I have one. A brilliant black skeleton. This large dragon skeleton that hangs in the defense against the dark art classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecat after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in eastern Wales during the Great Poacher Raid of 1878. Hey, what year is this? I don't remember. I guess I have to read the info. 
do 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 do. Two out of fifty. Now I'm four. Of course not. No London. They love you. They love you. What do we have? That's a fish. Is that a miniature male mermaid? Huh. Huh. Werewolf? What are these eyes? These are creepy. Torture devices. Ostrich? All right, we have another class to. Uh, what are you up to now? Are you only talking to me? No one else. All right, let's look at the map and see where we need to go for this one. Well, it's already it's already mapped out for me. Uh, quests. The active one is charms class. Charms class. Sure, let's do that one. But I think I got a new quest right to attend a secret meeting. Luke and Brattleby about the secret dueling dueling club. Later? Not now. Level four. Challenges. Field guides. All right, so it doesn't it doesn't matter in what order I take them. Just the first step is two, and then eight, and then fifteen, and the next one is I don't know. Oh, it resets after every. All right, I have a long way to go. Okie dokie. Mm, mm, mm. But this gear, I have this gear, right? Handwear. Stinger Julie. Legendary. And they have stats, and this has upgrade slot. But I don't have any upgrades. Yeah, I have to get that upgrade room. Some room of requirements, I think. But let's equip these. Is that a level requirement three? I can use them. I am using them. Face wear nothing. Head wear nothing. I have a cap. can sell it for 30, or I can use it. No, let's use it. I have a new outfit. Oh yeah, that one. Uh. <laughs> Fancy! Extraordinary, level 3 requirements. Offense, 4. And I can upgrade it. But I thought I saw that I had another outfit. We'll find it, I guess, eventually. Hmm. Yeah! I look fancy! I'm not from around here. I live in my mansion. I have had tea. I don't need more tea. These guys are... They're really chilly. Revelio. Butterflies. I want to find them.
find the bug to What? Where? How? Next class is upstairs somewhere. <laughs> Still upstairs. Even more. Hello. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Okay. My family and I travel somewhere every summer. I'm dying to visit Romania. Would love to see a dragon in the flesh. All of my siblings have gone on to work for the ministry. But I'm not sure I want to do that. Unless it's an aura. Oh, I'd like to be an aura. My older brothers were all sorted into Ravenclaw. They're terribly accomplished now. I'll never be able to live up to their achievements. Revelio. <laughs> Flu flame. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the minister. We are more cats. Thank you. That's a tiger. That's not a cat. Oh. It looks like... What What are they called? Ozelot? Oh. Oh. Little cootie cootie cootie. So... <laughs> no, Peeves! It's... Enough! You'll get us all detention. Revelio. Oh my god. <sighs> and we you're have both more of wrong these. anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> oh my god. Level one lock. Spin. Yeah, I also want to get in here. Can you please open it? So this one also has two symbols on the door and two dice in the walls. Huh. Huh, huh. Should I add the small rings to reach the big ring? Zero plus three plus what is five? What is it minus? Is it? I don't know. Let's do that class anyway. Off on another adventure, are we? I hope so. Do you have another? Revelio. No. I think Gareth Weasley would be better at transfiguration. <laughs> here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello. I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? 
Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Akio. I think I can do this. Boom. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. <laughs> Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? So why don't we have our newest students start us off? All right, thank you. Huh? I have a new coat. <laughs> Akio. Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. All right, let's try this. I, yeah, okay. Akio! That's it! That's not good. <laughs> all right. Should I try again? Splendid! Oh, that's better. All right, so I cast Accio and then I release X, but still hold right trigger until the last moment. Accio. Very good. Uh, okay. Okay. Very good. Points to Slytherin. Well, Thank there's you. There's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Mm hmm. You start. Oh, she pulls them across the playing field. Really? That is how it's done. All right, my turn. Akio. 
Okay, damn it. <laughs> Excellent control there. Let us be this. I can do better, alright? Let me try again. Let me try again. Nope. Oh! We got a 50! Quite impressive. Thank you. Watch this. No, she got a 52. Can I knock your balls away? Can I knock your balls away? From this way? Alright. No, <laughs> she wins. That's it. It's a tie. <laughs> okay. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think oh, we yeah. are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. You start. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round huh. settles it all. Here we go. Oh, it's gonna hit her. Yes, it did. Alright. Oh, 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 let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> no, <laughs> too far. Damn it. Happens to the best of us. Yeah, that's a good one. That is how it's done. Alright. Oh, Akio. Yes. Very good. They look like blueberries. Let us see this. Oh, I can't compete with this. No, 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 no! <laughs> Two balls out. Yeah. Congratulations, miss. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. <laughs> Is Wagadu a castle, like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. 
I remember the first time I saw it. The mist was so thick, I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Until next time. Of course, you can use Accio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. Hmm? I wonder what you get if you win that. More experience, I suppose. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. <laughs> Quite unsafe, really. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Right. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Quest complete. <laughs> I wonder if they have extra extra classes for me because I have not attended anything in four years. I hope so. I think I need it. <laughs> Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Yeah. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. So is, um, yeah, everyone has gone now. Anything upstairs? Rebellion. One lock. Level one. Anything else? Should be something, right? Hello. We have butterflies. Not the one I need. Not the one I want. Well, that was it. Those two quests completed. So... Standing just by this nice tapestry. Three-headed dog, like Kerberos. Uh -huh. Let's let's take a break here and say thank you for watching, and I will see you soon in the next episode. <laughs>